In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the complex number system, uh, which is basically the entire universe of numbers, all the numbers that you can possibly think, think of, and, and then some. Um, and basically, the complex number system can be summarized by A plus BI. Now, you really don't have to know what that means, um, other than numbers go into A, a and B. But we're going to explore that in greater detail later on. Just know that it exists. Within that complex number system, um, we have two main subdivisions. We have real numbers and imaginary numbers. The imaginary numbers are basically numbers that have I in it. Now, again, that's one of those things that we'll explore in greater depth later on. Uh, just know that it's around, it's, it exists. Uh, what I really want you to focus in on is this real number system. So make sure you're taking good notes. Now, the real number system is basically all the numbers you are familiar with. Uh, fractions, um, decimals, whole numbers, you know, numbers you count with. And within this real number system, we can divide it into uh, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Now, irrational numbers are your uh, non-repeating, non-terminating uh, decimal values. Uh, for instance, like the square root of 2 or pi. You know, pi is uh, 3.1415, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. So all these numbers are irrational. Now, rational numbers include like your regular counting numbers, if you will, one, two, three, four, but also all your uh, decimals that either terminate or repeat, uh, like uh, two thirds is 0.66666 repeating, uh, or one half, which is 0.5, but all these numbers also fall in the rational number set. Within the rational number set, we have a stricter set, which is integers. Now, integers are basically all numbers that are not decimals or cannot be evaluated to be uh, decimals, uh, both positive, negative, and zero. So, you know, negative three, zero, one, two, three, so forth. Uh, within integers, we have whole numbers, and whole numbers are. Uh, a subset that include positive integers and the number zero. Zero is neither positive or negative. And then we have the most restrictive set which is called natural numbers. Natural numbers are basically your positive in integers. So they exclude zero. So it's important to know um, the differences between these numbers um, especially when it comes to definitions of uh, different types of formulas and, and, uh, and whatnot, which we'll be discussing in greater depth later on. So anyway, that is your complex number system.